thing. My throat has gotten better, but that sounded a bit squeaky, didn't it? Although I've got a little bit of chest pain today, as I might have mentioned on the last video, because it's the same day. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to try my best, but what I've decided I'm going to do today from my shopping haul of Amazon the other day with all my new makeup products, I mean, I, I can't use them until I get to actually do the video, you know, and there's some products I want to use, I want to try using them. Right, so today I'm actually going to do my makeup, which means stripping this off, <laughs> not my clothes. No, stripping this off. <laughs> I've actually put my fake lashes on today and I get a, 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 I can't talk today. I'm a little bit mind boggled today. So I actually get a lot of comments saying I look either pathetic in my eyelashes or I don't need them or I look beautiful without them, etc. But I like them. Haven't put them on for a few days. So I thought, well, I'll put them on today. So, oh, I was about to pull it off then. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go through this. This is kind of my makeup route. That's my phone, sorry. So this is going to be like a makeup routine, but with a new makeup. I, I might show you some of my old makeup. I, we'll see. I might give you a glance into my makeup bag. It's Although it's gotten massive in the last couple of months, whereas my, my makeup bag used to be really tiny with just a couple of little bits, it's well it's awful anyway it's disgusting <laughs> do all your girls makeup bag end up like that i have no idea right so anyway let's start this right so what have we got so i've got some new pads and brushes to try and use let's get them open i don't really know why i'm getting them open really i don't know what i'm going to use out of there i don't know but they're open <laughs> uh blush pads these are um like loose powder pads they're these ones i'm sorry that's my phone again it's my twin sister she's texting me <laughs> we'll get back to you in a minute <laughs> right so let's just rip them out of the packet i've never used these kind of fancy ones before well fancy and actually <laughs> to me this is expensive they're about $7.99 or something for these two. But I'll tell you what. Apparently you put your fingers through there or something. I'll tell you what. They're well soft. Yeah, well padded. All right, guys. All right, let me just chuck rubbish on the floor. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, so I'm going to need one of those for my foundation. I've got a fantastic concealer. Now, this isn't any kind of particular brand i don't think oh four i think it's just a concealer i don't even really know what color it is and like i said in one of my last oh gosh that's a, okay that's not a concealer is it that's dark it's really hard buying off amazon so although i'm i have to put this out there now although i'm doing my makeup today with my new makeup it's not all my proper colours yet because I'm going to have to replace it because it's really hard buying off Amazon choosing the colour right and stuff. I think what I'm going to have to do is wait till I get to a supermarket and buy them properly. Right, so anyway, same make as this I think it is. It's a blush stick. Now, I've never had a blush. Sorry, that's my sister. <laughs> so I've never had a blush stick, but I will say in the last maybe month i have started using this tiny kind of a little glittery thing and that's just a cheap um, amazon thing as well i don't know why I keep watching these videos of the girls and i want to try and get that makeup look and it's really hard i'm just <laughs> so this is a oh oh that's oh not sure about that oh <sighs> I did read the reviews on that actually and they did say it's the most natural well not most but sorry i'm gonna have to turn my phone off yeah not most and natural but they said this comes out very natural looking how is that going to turn out natural looking i wonder if you can use that as lipstick <laughs> let me have that oh which reminds me i got a new mirror didn't i now I know it's all over my face. I did that on purpose. 
This mirror is becoming a pain. Oh, that's quite nice. It just gives your lips like a little tint. I suppose you could put it on your lips. Who's to say not? Let me just open this mirror again and leave it. Leave it open, Maz. <laughs> Right, so what else have I got to try? Oh, lashes. I'll do that a different day, though, I think. Can't be bothered with that today. Right, so this is where I want to try the new infillable. So, first of all, we've got foundation. Very, very dark. 3.30. <laughs> very, very dark. <laughs> I'm going to look like I've been under a sunbed for the last whatever. And believe it or not, I haven't had a tan... This tan is natural from Tunisia, but I haven't done my tan now for about three, four weeks, so this isn't tan. <laughs> um, infillable foundation in a powder. I've never, never heard of this before. And again, this isn't quite my colour. This is a 140 beige. Now, to me, this looks quite brown for a beige. But that's meant to be amazing. Infillable loose powder. This is meant to be translucent. So I've never had loose powder before either. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> and this is a foundation stick, but apparently you can not only just use it for foundation, you can use it as a contouring. I've again only in the last month or so I've tried to do a little bit of contouring um with some other thing I'll show you in a minute and this is extremely dark as well and i'll tell you what i got i got that cheap because it was really dark but i'm thinking if you use it more as a contour rather than a foundation obviously that might be quite good and that's also the l'oreal infillable as well so what else have i got left that's it in it let me take you down inside and show you my mate no do i really want to mm. <laughs> Right, I'm just, I'm just sort of getting away from the makeup for a minute. I've just gotten a mess it. Well, that there, there is it's like a chat between us all, uh, between my family, my sisters, and my niece. And <laughs> my niece, oh, can I show it without showing names and stuff? It's just made those cheese and bacon turnovers. She's been watching my video. <laughs> And then my twin sister has literally just met this as well. Let me get rid of that as well. Cornflake tart. <laughs> very good, very good. It looks really nice. And Angel, actually, your um, turnovers look better than mine. <laughs> very nice. Right, here we go. <laughs> now, this bag has actually gotten bigger. It's only really since I went to Tunisia. I don't know. Right, this is my contouring business. Now, this I must have bought in about... Oh, it was ages ago. <laughs> and I've never used it. I don't think I actually peeled all that off quite... In the last month, I've been contouring. And this is my um, concealer, which I didn't realise, which I've been using, is actually infill infillable again. I didn't realise that was the brand. So I was quite impressed with that. This, this is the powder option I've been using since I was 16. <laughs> oh, I need to move on. And um, this is my old mirror. Look. look at the state of my things. Look at the state of that. It's just a, uh, that was a lovely mirror, actually. I got that as a gift. This is like now the pinky um, kind of uh, like little blushery tint I've been putting on my, um, from Amazon on my cheeks oh i don't show you these two lipsticks i kind of mix every day i do have these brushes now back in the day back in the day <laughs> i did pay a lot for those i do wash them right so i'm, I'm not going to go through all that because that's boring um this is the foundation i usually wear rimmel rimmel everything rimmel eyeliner rimmel blah 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 and it's actually 400 which is actually really dark really dark but Compare that to this look. This one is really dark. I'm a bit scared and nervous of putting that on. It's not going to suit me. At well, maybe if I had a tan on, it might do. It might go better. But, yeah, we'll give that a go. And with my patches and stuff on my face and that, this is why I, I am quite insecure, I want to say. It's not a fain thing. 
I think a lot of people get that wrong. It's, it's like an insecure thing. I think when I do the fake tan, it almost covers it up or makes it all into one rather than... So that's why I do my tan quite often as well. Right, let's start this makeup. My first thing I always do... Um, you're going to laugh at me. Baby wipes. This is why I buy baby wipes. Not for me bum. <laughs> um, for me face. I actually use these every day to remove my makeup. I do. I've been doing it since, since whenever. Right? So I don't need anyone to tell me, oh, you know, you know, do this, do that. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> There's no right or wrong way. Let's just get this makeup off. I'm going to be so embarrassed now we're having no eyebrows. Let's get the eyelashes off. I look totally different without me eyebrows and me eyelashes. Look at that look. <clears throat> yep, I've never tried the well i might have done once in the past makeup white removers it's just money there isn't it you pay a lot of money for like what 20 wipes or something like these you can get like how many are they i don't know 50 or something for a pound about 148 wipes for 90p <laughs> this is my makeup routine i'm not going to lie Let's get all this makeup off. I think I've got it all off. Probably gonna hear my phone go again in a minute. I just text my sister and my niece to let them know that I've put the pictures on here. <laughs> and they look amazing. Right, so here we go. This is this is the the natural Mazzy. <laughs> yep, this is the natural me. See, I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> I do have a very patchy. I've got a spot under there at a minute. Very quite patchy skin can't see it really in this light but i don't really want to be getting up to the camera and showing all that um yeah very patchy right let's start with what should we start with start with do i use concealer first sometimes i do sometimes i don't where's the new concealer new concealer where is it? All right, I've just remembered that the new concealer actually isn't um, the in a fillable. So um, I think I'm going to use my old concealer, which is in fillable. Where's that gone now? Oh, this ain't going well, is it? So I'm going to use the infillable because my whole point is I want to try and stick with the infillable and see how that goes. Right, so this is also when I bought this, this was really dark as well when this arrived from, from Amazon. So bear with it, bear with it. Oh, my videos processor just got to upload it. Be back in a second. Right, there we go. Right, because I feel under pressure on the camera, I forgot to actually cream my face off. I've got it on there now. Right, so oh. These, oh, they're a bit fat, but actually they're not bad quality. So I know a lot of girls could do a lot more with their concealer. I do have to put it on um, my little beauty spot <laughs> there because I have like a little freckle beauty spot. I've had that, I don't know, for years and years and years. Right, but I do like to put this uh, concealer under my bags. But... I know you can pull it elsewhere, but I, I don't really know where else you put it. Where else do you put it apart from a freckle or cover your bags? I don't know. <laughs> right, here we go. That will do. Yeah, these are actually quite good, actually. Probably a bit too fat, but I do... Once you use them for a little while, they sort of squash out and flatten up a bit anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do... It's half my face with this. Let me just open this. 
which I was trying to explain. I've seen a video of the girls do this. Oh no, that's not it. This. I've seen a video of the girls literally use this as their foundation. And it does say foundation in a powder. So I want to do half my face in this and half my face in that with them maybe maybe that on top. I don't I don't know. We'll just do half my face in this first. Let's see how we get on. Never had like a foundation like this. Let me get a new sponge. Right, here we go. So they they made this look really creamy and stuff. Let's have a look. Okay. They don't look like that's going to do anything. Nah, no, I don't. Maybe on top of your foundation. I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. Oh my heavens. All right, so you might, you're going to struggle to see this. Let me just get some of my powder. Right, you might be able to see, like, I've got patches there, like, kind of being. Let me just wipe down. Okay, let me look in the mirror. Okay, that's doing a better job than I thought it was going to do. Let me give it some more. Let me have a look in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed. I think I'm more impressed because it's it's light. Whereas when I put my foundation on, you know, it, it can feel heavy sometimes. <laughs> okay. It feels like I've got nothing on my face because it's so light. But I'm actually getting decent coverage. Okay. Right, we'll stick with half the face then. Quite impressed with that actually. I, but I do feel like, because it's not my routine, I'm just going to try and do half the face. Because I feel like it's not really my rout routine, I feel like I'm not doing my makeup properly. But, am I impressed or what? Yeah, yeah, with just that light coverage. Okay. Okay, that's made me look very pale. Oh, I'll tell you what I will do. I put a bit of concealer on my spot. This is a new spot. We all get spots. Put a tiny bit on there. Right, let's go in with the foundation, the liquid foundation. All right, okay. I'm... That's actually quite amazing. Quite impressed with that so far. <laughs> but I do still feel like I've got nothing on me face. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Let's go in with this liquid foundation. Now, I've told you, this isn't the colour I wanted. But let's just go with it, yeah? Let's just see what sort of coverage we get with it. Let me get a new sponge again so we, we're not contaminating. Right, here we go. Mm. Be honest, it's not totally darker than, well, no, it is, than my usual. But if I had a tan on, which I don't, then it probably would look better even still, right? Here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, the colour, the colour is atrocious. Ah, look at the colour of that yeah anyway let's just go with it no i definitely won't be using this again yeah the color is is atrocious and if i'm quite honest straight away i'm really not enjoying the coverage on this it feels very watery if that makes any sense Hmm. So my point is, even if I got the right colour, would I enjoy this? No. I don't know. Right, let's, it's just rough. It's just rough. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I do think if I had a tan, 
that might I might get away with still using that so it's it's not totally getting wasted but I mean the way I am now I <sighs> No, I don't. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't even like the coverage on it. Again, though, it feels light, like a light coverage. Let's try. Let's try. Oh, got all over me top. Oh, that was clean on this morning. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's try some of the powder on top. So this isn't my colour. I can obviously see that. <laughs> All right, let's try some of this powder on top, though. It feels very light. I feel like what are you what are you doing up there? You're not covering. You're not doing nothing. You're not covering nothing. That's how I feel. All right, let's. Okay, that totally changed it, didn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry about my phone. Okay, that's totally changing the colour. And actually, did you just see that? It's almost blending in now this half with that half. Let's just keep going on with it. <laughs> it's actually blending in okay. All right, let's go down with the chin and the neck. It's just roughly done, you know. Okay, actually. All right, let me just like, examine myself. Mm, no, <laughs> well, it's still dark. But it has blended it in quite well. Do I? Oh, this is the main thing, isn't it? Has it hidden all my like patches and that? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It hasn't, but has it done a good job is the thing. See, I get patches all up here as well. Mm. Do you know what? I, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like it. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Let's try and blend it in again. Just mix the two sort of on the edges there. Anyway, right, so it definitely has blended it in. This isn't as bad now with that on top, is it? Right, so next thing I want to try. <laughs> I'm, I'm only trying makeup. I'm not actually doing my makeup, Rudy. Let's go for this. It's like a cup of coffee and a stick, isn't it? Right, so this is actually L'Oreal and Fillable again can be a foundation or used for contouring is what it said right so i'm gonna need a brush for this aren't i now i have no idea again about contouring the only thing i've been quite recently doing is that some of the girls have been oh <laughs> some, <laughs> some of the girls have been going down like this so i'm gonna do this oh I know some of the girls go all the way round and stuff like that. I don't think I could get away with that. Right, so I'm going to leave it as that. Let's try and find one of my brushes to blend it in. Let's get a short stubby one. I feel like it's going to need... Oh, these are a bit soft. So are they okay? They might be all right for, like, powder foundations and stuff. Oh, I didn't do my translucent one, did I? Oh, I've put the contour on now. Let's give this a go. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to blend this in. Oh, my hair. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, it's very hard to blend. Is it? I don't know. Oh, no, it's not quite my... I feel like I've got no control over it. Where is my other one? The old one. Where is that? This, I don't know what brand it is. It comes in a powder form and not a stick. So I feel like I've got a bit of control over that. It's just a lightly dusting a powder. All right, so that one's done. Yeah, that's looking mucky, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I didn't even do it in the proper place. All right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 
It's all right. Okay, I totally did it in the wrong place anyway, so I've used way too much. Right, let's just go. <laughs> let's just go with it. See if we can blend out. Oh, the heavens. Oh, heavens. Oh. This is like turning into a DIY how to do clown makeup, isn't it? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay. Although, okay, if I'd done it in the right place and not so much, I think you could blend it out properly. Yeah, yeah, that's totally, um, <laughs> right, right, okay. So let's just go with it all now, then, might we? We might as well do the blush stick as well. Let's go for the full whack clown look. So this is blush stick i have no idea of the brand it's just on amazon let me find a little brush for this maybe this one using the new brushes as well all right here we go just testing them out if i'm gonna well now i'll talk about what i think of it all at the end right so i don't know where you put blush this is where i might put it or this is where i've been putting my glitzy one okay so I don't know again how much to put on because I've not used it before. Let's just let's go with a tiny bit over that sort. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't feel like it's very smooth going on. But let's go with it. See how stubbly that one is. It's alright. I don't know what these were about. I don't know, eight ninety nine or something. Oh, it feels a bit sticky, if I'm totally honest. Yeah, it feels a bit sticky. I feel like there's no pigment as such to it, or is there, and I just can't see it. <laughs> Let me have a look. Is that? Oh, yeah, there definitely is pigment. Ooh. Okay, I'm not used to that, am I? <laughs> Right, yeah, I'm not quite used to that. Okay, you can blush it out, uh, blend it out though. But it's very sticky. Yeah. Right, so I feel that's it. I'm not doing my makeup properly, so let's just blend that in. <laughs> blend that one in as well. Let's see if it dries out. This is why I want to do this. Right, let's see as it dried out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it feels like a baby. Yeah, yeah, once it's blended out quite a bit. But now I've blended it out, can you actually see it? I don't even know if you can see it. Dunno. Right, the last thing I'm going to try then is, oh, did I use that concealer? Oh no, no, because I wanted to stick with the infillable, didn't I? Right, so this is the infillable loose powder. So I did get these two little kind of pads. Ne I've never spent this amount of money on a silly old pad before. <laughs> right, let's see how this goes. I know this isn't the order I should be doing my makeup, but hey ho. Oh. <laughs> okay, got half a tub on me. How? Now, how do you get these out of there? How do you get the powder out of the little silly holes? Actually, am I holding this right, or is it got to be this way? I think it's got to be that way, actually, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's give this a go. So this is just translucent. I've never had translucent. I've always gone, like, for a colour, you know? Beige. <laughs> the same old rimmel stuff we used when we were at school. <laughs> All right, let's give this a go. Now, what I do with my powder... Put it all over my face. I just use uh, like a pad, one of them, um, you know, like a pad pad. Um, but when I was watching a video, I was just watching some girls just dotting it under their eyes. And I think to myself, am I the only one that feels like I need this all over my face? <laughs> well, I do. So let's just go with it. Okay. So apparently this is, a, the girls call this setting powder. I, I mainly use mine just for the fact that I don't want to shine on my head. I didn't know it was called setting powder and it actually sets your makeup. 
I've always just kind of used that so it doesn't, so I don't look shiny for the day, which don't really work anyway. Right, well, let me just get on with this. This is hard to get out of, isn't it? It's like talcum powder. It's all over, all over my legs. Right, let's go with it anyway. So I don't think this is meant to change my colour, is it? It's just meant to take the shine off. Oh. Right, what do I think of that then? So half of that is the Duda, the foundation, and the other half is the powder foundation. What do you think? I don't know. Tell you what, actually, I like that powder. I don't think even this has ever done that to me. I feel quite, quite nice and dry with it. If that makes any sense. All right, let me have a proper look. I could get away with that, actually. Once all my face is done in that, uh, I could get away with that. But what do I actually think of the products? I don't know. This was this amazed me more than I expected. Although it felt really light on my face. Now, I'm not saying I want a face full of heavy makeup. But that felt literally like I got nothing on my face. And it covered pretty well, considering. But not quite there. This also felt light, very watery, but I, I don't know, I just, let me go back to my old mirror. I don't know. I feel like that's no better coverage actually than probably the one I've been using. The Rimmel, the Rimmel. Um, this is perfection, Rimmel perfection. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because I'm stuck in me old ways. <laughs> what do I think of the blush? I don't feel you can see it at all. But once I blended it out, it weren't terrible. Didn't get to use the concealer. Let's put some concealer on just so I can try it. Shall I? Is it worth it now? Oh, okay. There's no colour to that, is there? Wow. Okay, that looks pretty dark. No colour to that at all. Or am, am I just can't see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah there's colour to that. So I'm wondering now if that's going to be just as sticky. Let's see if that's just going to be as sticky. Yeah, it's quite sticky. Ooh, I don't like that. But is it... Well, I can't really tell now because I'd, I'd usually put a concealer on underneath my foundation. Anyway, so that's me makeup today, testing out the products. Would I buy them? Would I spend that sort of money on it again? Let me think about it. Now, what I would like is to do my own foundation and maybe try that on top. That might be... Because this is... Is this L'Oreal? No, it's Rimmel. I should have known that. Rimmel, Rimmel, eyeliners, Rimmel, Rimmel, everything's Rimmel. <laughs> right, yeah, so if I did my own foundation, maybe I'd buy that just to try on top and if that worked out all right. Yeah, I'd probably give that a go. I don't think I'm going to personally replace my um, foundation with that. It might be just my skin tone and everything. I haven't got a normal skin tone like anyone else. Um, would I buy the blush? Yeah, but by the time I sort of blended it out and got rid of the stickiness and stuff, I didn't feel like it left much of a pigment, really, did it? Did it leave much of a pigment? I feel hot. I've got the heat in on. <laughs> so am I red? If I'm red, it's not from that. It's from... No, no, that didn't leave a pigment. Right, so before I close this video down, I will just quickly then show you this other one. Where's this this is what now i've recently been buying just to give something else to my face other than just all this i bought this off um pinky ice it's called bought this off amazon so you'll see the difference now there's no there's no real pigment to that at all you see 
I don't think there is. Maybe you're seeing something different to me. So let me just show you then what... And I don't really like big pink cheeks anyway. So maybe that would be all right, but then what's the point of putting it on if you're not even going to see it anyway? Right, so anyway, this is this one. This is what I've been doing. So it just gives you a little bit of glitzy, sort of bit of a glitzy sort of thing up there, and that's it. Bit of definition, you know? <laughs> yep. Yep, just a little bit of a glow. Well, it's not a glow, actually. It's a bit of a shine, but it's not really showing very well now on this makeup. So that's my makeup today, anyway. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done all that. But the worst thing is now all the tidying up I've got to do. Everything's just everywhere. Right, so I hope again you've enjoyed that video. The next video, or a video I want to do, is going to be the eyelashes. I can't do it today because it's just getting too long now. I'm looking forward to trying that. Right, hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you again on the next. Love you all. Bye. Oh, God, get this off my face.